of the race, there's a widespread perception that Kamala Harris replacing Joe Biden on the Democratic ticket has thrown you off your game, gotten under your skin. What do you say to that? Uh, no, I think we're doing great. I think we're leading. Uh, we just had a Rasmussen poll. We're up by five. We're doing, I think, very well. What is unfair is that he, it's unfair to him, but it's also unfair to me. I was leading by 17 or 18 points after the debate. And they said, you know, he's going to lose. And they went and told him, you're going to lose. We want to replace you. Crazy Nancy Pelosi went in with a group with Obama and with others. But they went in with a group and they said, you know, we want you out. And they took him out. And it was a bad thing to do. But also unfair to me. I spent $100 million fighting against the man that won in their party. And we had a debate. And the debate was good for me. It wasn't good for him. And then all of a sudden they take him out and they put somebody new in that never got a vote. He didn't, she didn't get a single vote. He got 14 million votes, she got none. So I'm running against her. Now we're up in the polls. And we're winning on the swing states. But, you know, I've got to be two people instead of one. That never happened either. So it's not a very fair thing, but uh, I live with it. Yeah, did you have one? Uh, yeah, do you think the rank and file of the union for the culinary workers are going to peel away from the leadership who endorsed Kamala? I do. I think they're going to peel away and endorse me. I do. I think the culinary union is going to endorse a lot of the people. A big percentage of the people will endorse me. They, they always support the at the top level. But they've supported me. I've had great support from culinary. Now, with the no tax on tips, I think they're going to be very supportive of me. Yeah. You